Welcome back to another video guys. Today's a beautiful day. We're back in South Florida. Guess what's going on? We're working on an 1100 gallon tank. We've been working on this project for a while. It's custom. It's on the second floor. It's a gorgeous house. We're going to be filming the whole thing. But in the meantime, we figured we'd stop by to get some beautiful cores of South Florida Rubios. So follow me inside. Let's go do this. severe weather all across the country as we continue to deal with that extreme heat. But what makes it feel so excessive out there and kind of puts it over the top is all of the humidity. It makes that 93 degrees feel like a heat index up to 110 and in some spots in the Keys it can be even hotter than that like in Marathon where it feels like 116 right now. That is crazy for even us here in South Florida. I'm hiding this too, too hot. I heard the water, guys, right there. Look at the water. This is the house right here. I heard the water is literally 92 degrees, I think it is. It's just out of control. I'm just hiding in the shade here. This is a little much right now. Bienvenido a Miami. We're in Marathon. We're ready for this setup. Jimmy, come and see this thing up here. Jeez, game let's, time, let's fellas. See, let's see how she feels. You guys see this puppy? A thousand and fifty gallons, just under eleven hundred gallons. No. Oh, man. They're trying to sandwich me. The most difficult part of the project right now, getting the tank in place. The tank literally weighs one ton, over 2,000 pounds. Guys. I'm ready to call it the day, but not just yet. We have to finish getting everything inside the building, inside the house, I should say. Tank is in place, stand is in place. Then tomorrow we're planning to plumb and do most of the work tomorrow, and then the final touches hopefully on Thursday, most of the day. So there's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three day project. Pretty big one. This has those little cogs on it, and this is what pulls, what do you call those, roller coaster. Obviously this is a smaller version, but they use it for like conveyor belts and whatever, it's got teeth. Oh. And they roll up like this, and it, it catches, catches, and then it goes yeah, yeah. over the top, and it folds underneath, and it goes back conveyor around. Conveyor belt? Yeah. Really? Inside of here, that's literally a transmission. This with that in there. Is that a gas? Gas tank. <laughs> <laughs> 19,000 liters an hour. How many liters an hour? How many gallons an hour is that, Vic? Liter? Oh, no. Talk about uh, a gallon is what? 3.8 liters? So about 
How many liters? 19,000. So it's about 4,000 gallons an hour, roughly. I'm just trying to get a wild guess. 19,000 liters in gallons. 5,000. So it's got the two uh, Red Dragon Eco 5 return pumps. Each one are roughly 5,000 gallons per hour. So that's 10,000 gallons per hour total uh, running through the return lines, uh, potentially. Uh, but we're also going to tee off a couple of reactors, like a carbon reactor and a GFO reactor, off of those returns as well. So, Hydro Wizard Panther Ray. We met them back in Magna in 2014 in Colo um, Colorado. And I was so impressed with their product. Joe Caparati is a distributor for them. Joe Caparati is a good friend of ours. Thank you guys again. Thank you for making this happen. I know it's not easy to get a hold of these things. We got them on time. Actually, one of them has the uh, honeycomb. It's to protect fish from going in. It's just so strong. This freaking thing moves 15,500 gallons per hour. Full in carbon reactor, jumbo. Jumbo tank, jumbo things. This is gonna be the water making station. It's two 250-gallon conical or cylinder tanks. One's gonna be uh, for the RO, the other one's gonna be mixing the salt. So we'll be able to do um, up to uh, total volume of a 500 gallon water change in one day if necessary. More than likely, each service visit will only change like 200 gallons or so, but we'll have the capacity to change up to 500 gallons on any given day. These are true unions. We use unions in case you need to take this apart to replace a piece of pipe or clean a pipe or change a valve. Anything you need to do, it just it's, it's a lot easier if you can take it apart without having to cut it. You know, so all these connections all come apart with the union, so it's all it's all easily serviceable. This filter from Aqua FX, it's the first time that we've sold one of these or used one. It's actually a 10 by three or two and a half which is different because normally a 10 inch filter is only like an inch and a half in diameter. So this will do 500 gallons per day. All right guys, we're still on day two. Six o'clock in the afternoon, we're still going at it. We're still gonna go, I think, maybe eight, nine o'clock. Um, we finished the sump, it's all plumbed in. All the returns, all the drains, they're working on a, a carbon canister, a GFO canister. If you guys wanna check out back here, we're doing a room. We're doing the uh, fresh water, salt water. They're putting in our row, a big RO that you guys seen earlier right here. And right now, we just put the tank in place. The UV sterilizer is all plumbed in. The bubble king is in place. I'm getting ready, you guys see Lou around over there. He's getting ready to help me with all the sand. We're gonna be doing all the aquascape. We're getting some protection right now in front of the tank. So again, uh, stay tuned. I didn't plumb that, by the way. I had nothing to do with it. The guy's been busy doing that. It's only room for a few guys, so me and Lou, we've been uh, helping out. We've been going back and forth to Home Depot, getting lunch for the guys, helping them clean up, uh, getting the delivery from the trucks in place, and now we're gonna work on the aquascape. <music> Done with the sand, going with the aquascape now, guys. I feel like I've always been doing aquascape without gluing anything and I feel like just taking your time and putting the right pressure and weight into it and I'm gonna give you guys a little example. Watch me. Ready? That's the test. You put all your body weight. You literally just push it down. You're trying to, you're trying for that thing to collapse on you. We think we just finished the aquascape. Yeah. I'm gonna get out to look at it. Everyone, say, everyone seems to love it. It's like a mini pentagon version. I think we killed it, but let's get out and let's see.
We've been going at it for 12 hours non-stop. Uh, finished Aquas K, filling up the tank. They're working on the apex controller now. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna finish all the wiring, finish the water, put in the power heads. Tomorrow the cabinetry people come over. We still gotta hang the lights. So we're expecting to be about 85, 90% done tomorrow, but this is something that's gonna take a little more time. But that's it, we're looking good so far. If you're an old school gamer, you know what a pot means. You know what that means? Free game, baby. <laughs> Even though we're not using coins, it still <laughs> gets me excited, like back in the days. So this is gonna be a fish-only system. So there's not gonna be a doser or a trident. However, we did go with the Apex 3 Pro uh, with multiple leak sensors, water level sensors for the ATO, the uh, water mixing towers, the sump. This location is in, in the Florida Keys. We're obviously in Orlando, so it's a it's a five hour or so drive for us to get down here when we do do the service. So we just wanna make sure that we have eyes and ears on everything while we're not here. That right there is the most rare one because the artist forgot to put the fish. So that's literally, forget about all of his paintings are rare. That one is more rare, yeah, because he forgot to put the fish. Now Lou's looking for the fish on all of them. <laughs> yep, the guy won't paint without fish. So he made, he forgot on that one for some reason and became a crazy collectible. No fish. All right, guys, day three is done and we're still not completed 100%. However, we finished 90% of the project. I'm a mess, I changed t-shirts three times today. The weather's been horrible to say the least. It's like 110 degrees, no joke. Humidity is like 5,000%, and I'm just kidding. Seriously, it's like 100% humidity. You can feel it in the air. Anyhow, we are done. I left my, Matt and Mike behind. They're gonna stay, they're gonna finish the project. We're gonna update you guys with more pictures, more videos coming soon, but this is for now. So we'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and leave some comments. We'll see you guys.